Hello everybody, my name is Sigar and welcome back to Outer Wilds. It's been a, um, it's actually been quite a hot minute since I've, I actually haven't played this game since last year. But, last episode, am I right? Yes, I certainly am, because last episode, holy crap, if you haven't already seen it, go watch that, because... Today, we're going to be checking out the Quantum Moon, because there's more stuff to learn. So I want to get all of this before we go exploring Ash Twin, because I'm pretty sure... Everything comes together at Ashwin. How did... Is it on top of it? Huh. What the hell? Oh shit, okay, we're going in. We are officially going in. Okay, this is weird. Okay, I seem to be underwater. That looks dangerous. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Danger Will Robinson. Hello. What the heck? After closer observation, mining site 2A. I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. Wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. Wait, what? And they moved the mining site because it wasn't safe. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about Site 2B? It shares similar formations in Strata. This sounds promising. Um, will you and your mentor investigate? If mining Site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. <clears throat> site 2B is safe. Colius says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life here. On the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Um, they remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Mallory, once told me about. Hey, Mallory, I remember her. From when our clan used to travel across the universe, I imagine she would have enjoyed the life for these life forms greatly. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. Ah, fourth eye. Yeah. Oh, true, because they have three eyes, right. Okay, interesting. That's very, very interesting. here, but there's no other exit here, is it? Is there more to explore here? Oh, wait, here we go, there we go. Oh shit, no, not now, not now! Screw you, son, I forgot you blow up! Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Stuff all through here. Don't go me up, no, 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 no! Yeah, spit me out to see- oh shit, that's terrifying! Good thing I know we're in a time loop, or else I'd be shitting my pants. You know my name Solon was told to visit Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Hollow's equator to learn one final rule before embarking on a pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. Beauty. Okay, the trees are moving! The trees in this grove wander about freely, the entire planet roots and all. The entire plant roots not- Oh, true! Okay, so, yeah, yeah, I, I have heard of this before, um, which is cool. Um, anyway, surface integrity 58%. Huh. Didn't realize that was a thing. Treating this grove move, this is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. These either trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Another matter in this area that is unusual, a shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. The rock is unusual for another reason too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Yeah, it's so weird. Hypothesis this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Possibly, possibly. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. 
If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Right, now I remember. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last knowledge you need for your journey. Why do y'all have to make it so complicated, huh? Uh huh, this looks like it's walkable and dangerous. Okay, just walk around the tower until we can find an entrance, I guess. Fuck! Ah, I'm gonna die. Yep. Did I just read this? No. Plume Felix and I have determined this optical shard, atypical shard of rock, is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Ah, so it causes everything to be weird. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, the quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Interesting. A note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal from the shard producers calling out from Giants Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Indeed, indeed there are. We. How strong is the ground? I mean, I can take off normally, so I should be fine to fly around in there, and if I fail, then I just get spat out at the white hole. Okay, this is working. Shit. Easy. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. You're actually joking. Okay, no, I can... I can get through over there on the, on the actual entrance. I can do that. Fuck, fuck. Oh, damn it. Yeah, all right. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit. I need to be on the other side. Okay, that's definitely a problem. Oh jeez, okay, it's way too close to the core, and I can't fly properly there. No, oh, you son of a bitch, not on my watch! Ah, oh, damn it, okay, it happened on my watch. Come on, bruh! Just let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Did I make it? What happened? What the hell happened? Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please don't tell me I'm dead. I gotta get out of here. Ah, well, that works. But, oi, 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 where am I going? What is happening? Help, help me! I don't know what's happening. I feel like I'm crashing into Giant Steep, which I do not want to do. But, bright side, Quantum tower? Question mark? Oh, that is the way. We just wait for it to break into the black hole. Um, we make our journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash, that- Oh no! That brought them to the star system became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin with no communication between these two groups of survivors. Uh, these Nomai looked upward two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive um, during this long period of hardship. Come on, baby. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our plan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry your curiosity. That was useless! That told me nothing! Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you have completed your preparations on Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Great. That's fantastic. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will, um, will carry you. Uh, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, the Moon's sixth and most secret location. Ooh! You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but remember this final rule to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Okay, uh, be curious on your journey. This 
information helps me not. Unless it does. I'm gonna die of oxygen deprivation soon. I don't know what any of this is about. Oh, hey, trees. Nice. That's good. That's a plus. Um, I'm sure there's more here. I mean, there's these tablets, but... I see nothing to put in them. This is something down here. Either way, I'm gonna die. Yep. Hopefully that was everything. Finally, finally made it to the Quantum Tower. Whoo! I should have thought of that earlier, actually, the whole breaking down thing. Okay, good, that is all. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Beauty. Beauty, 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 beauty. Okay, the pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. The Nomai built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. What does that mean? No idea. After two groups of Nomai landed on Inbetween and Brittle Hollow were reu... Wait, were stranded on Inbetween and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became the United Gold to find and visit the continent. Right, sure. Six location, many Nomai uh, went on pilgrimage, two which, during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth location and the most secret location. Okay. To explore the six locations, one quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Quantum shrine, the Nomai built shrine, um, in the aid of the pilgrimage to the sixth location. Okay. Exciting. There is still two more things to discover about the quantum moon. That's this quantum signal. The Nomai detected a quantum signal from somewhere on Giant Steep. Ah, I didn't think I had found that. Weird. And the lake bed cave. Interesting. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? Yeah. I was on the beach. Actually, there was something there that I haven't seen, I think. I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. Nice. Um, if you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Okay, um, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I don't have my spacesuit on, so... Good to know there's oxygen on the planet, but <laughs> um, now that I think about it, uh, I think there was actually something that I missed on Statue Island that I couldn't get to and then the sun exploded in my face. So let's see if we can check that out. Maybe that is the That's the only thing he's pointed out, and he's the information giver here, so... I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? Yeah, I would. Well, that's... Useful. There we go. <laughs> as an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. That's a good point, actually. They're sending memories back in time. How do they do that? I never really thought of that. That never actually... That's, that's advanced. Would both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Yeah. Okay, so that... Was that it? I mean, that's really interesting and all. And I like it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I read that, but... That was useless information. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is something. Trip 4, entry, hashtag whatever. Crashes 2, boring crashes 0. Remember the slate when I get back. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we're seeing more entries from the, the dude whose name I forget. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, giant steep. You just got Feldspar. I love Feldspar. He's amazing. <laughs> uh, that was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, uh, can't wait to tell Hornfells and go and Gossen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. And that would be his last. Interesting. Very cool. Island of Thorny Vines. And what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Don't tell us anything quantum, but 
I don't know what it's talking about. There, there, like, there's not. There's nothing a giant did. There's nothing else. I don't know what else there is. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was definitely interesting. I liked it. I like all the quantum stuff. It's very cool. Uh, but anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Outer Wilds. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below to let me know. Share it with a friend and satisfy me by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of when a new video comes out. You can also be notified by joining the Discord server. Link in the bottom description. It's a great time. Like, you'll love it there. Just hang out, chat with everyone. Everyone's really friendly, and you just come in and start talking, they'll talk to you. It's a fantastic time. And I'll talk to you, of course, because I'll be there too. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Vincent Carr. Until next time. See ya.